hey everyone and welcome back so in this video we are ready to start our web rtc client for our peer connection and start the real call to do that i'll create my web rtc package i'll have three class inside it first one is going to be my peer observer next one is my sdp observer and the last one is going to be web rtc client so my peer observer is going to be an open class that extends from peer connection dot observer and we are going to implement all the members and since we are not using all of it inside our WebRTC client. I just want to make it an open class so I can use this observer and overwrite any of this function that I want. Same goes for my SCP observer. It's, it's going to be an open class that extends from SDP observer. Let's implement all the members like this. Okay, so right now let's go to our WebRTC client close other tabs since we are going to do a lot in this class it's going to be injectable with a constructor it will have uh, context and also JSON so first thing to do inside our init block we have to create a function called init peer connection factory first thing to do always is initialize our peer connection factory and it's going to need and inside this function we will create our options for our peer connection factory option is equal to peer connection factory dot initialize options and use the builder and pass the context to it and set some property set enabled to true set field trials to web rtc dash h264 high profile slash enabled slash and then create initialize options and our using peer connection factory initialize and pass the option to it and after that we are going to need a function that creates us a peer connection factory and it will return a peer connection factory we can simply return peer connection factory and use the builder class and set a video decoder factory to default video decoder factory and as you can see it's going to ask us AGL based context so I'll create private val EGL base context it's going to be EGL base that's great and get the EGL base context but let's separate these variables class variables with RTC variables and let's go back in here and for the base context we will just pass EGL base context and then set video encoder factory to default video encoder factory and as the context we will pass EGL base context as well and pass true and true and then set options to peer connection factory dot options and we will apply 
disable network mirror to false and disable encryption also to false and after that create our peer connection factory so right now I'm going to create a peer connection factory lazily by lazy create peer connection factory so it's time to create our peer connection instance type peer connection and it's going to be null initially to create our peer connection I'm going to create a function called initialize web RTC client and it will get our username and observer as peer connection that observer and inside this function uh, we wanna save this username inside our class like this private var or private latent var username type string and then call a function that creates us the peer connection so peer connection is equal to create peer connection peer connection and we will pass the observer to it so let's create this function and using peer connection factory we can create peer connection as you can see we need i servers and the observer so for the observer i'll pass this and for the i server i'll create my i server object up here private val i server is equal to list of peer connection i server builder and as the uri i'll share you my own turn server but later i'll tell you how to create your own turn server and set username to this and password to this one then create the i server as you can see we are returning the peer connection okay so right here right after creating our peer connection it's time to prepare our data sources like uh, camera and microphone so to do that let's first let's create the functions that starts our surface view renderers to do that I'll create a function create fun in its surface view it's going to get a view of type surface view renderer and using view dot run block I'll set mirror to false set enable hardware scalar to true and then in it using egl base context and pass null as the renderer event after that i'll create a function in its local surface view it will get a local view of type surface view renderer and is video call of type boolean using this function I want to save a reference from local surface view to this local view and right here private latent var local surface view of type local sur of type surface view renderer and same goes for remote surface view renderer and after that first we will initialize our surface view and then create a function start local streaming and pass a local view and is video call to it so i'll create it right here private fun start local streaming it will get the local view and is video call of type boolean okay so first thing to do we have to create our local stream by peer connection factory create local stream and pass an id to it so let's go and create our variables let's separate our variables call variables i'll cut them and put them here 
and private var local stream of type media stream it's going to be null initially and as the id i'll create two variables called local track id it's going to be empty string initially and also private var local stream id and it's going to be empty string initially as well and inside here i'll set them dependent on our username so our local track id is equal to pass the username track same goes for local stream id on the line stream simple as that so let's go here local stream not steam and here we will pass local stream id then we check if it is the video call then we wanna start capturing camera and pass the local view to it you'll see in a second and then for the audio we always do have the audio so we should create our local audio track by peer connection factory that creates audio track and pass local track id plus underline audio and give it the local audio source so let's create these two variables let's go up here and create private var local audio track of type audio track it's going null initially same for local video track of type video track same goes initially and here I want to create my audio and video source private val local video source is going to be initialized by lazy so peer connection factory creates video source and pass false as the screencast and for the private val local audio source also by lazy peer connection factory create audio source and pass the media constraints like this so let's go back down here after creating our local audio track i want to add it to my local stream add track local audio track and then add the stream to my peer connection local stream okay so down here i'll create a function start private fun start capturing camera with the local view of surface view renderer and also private fun stop capturing camera to stop sending the video source to the other peer okay so let's go to this function first thing we need a surface texture helper so let's go back here and create private var surface texture helper of type surface texture helper is going to be null initially and here we will initialize it is equal to surface texture helper dot create and for the thread name we'll use thread dot current name dot name and for EGL context we simply pass EGL base context after that we are going to need a reference to our video capturer so let's create our video capturer first we need to create a function get video capturer and it will return camera video capturer so it's going to be camera to enumerator with the context dot run 
and we get device names dot find check if it's front facing pass it to it if it's not now create capture with device name of it and events handlers to null otherwise show illegal state exception so using this function we will get our video capturer let's go up here and create our private val video capturer is equal to get video capture and pass context to it and then go back to our start capturing camera we simply call video capture dot initialize surface texture helper pass context and local video source dot capture observer and then video capture dot start capture and pass the dimension 720 480 and 20 fps then we will create our local local video track like this and using pure connection factory that creates video track with the ID of local track plus underline video and local video source and then using this local video track we want to load it inside our local view and then local stream can hold this track and to stop capturing the camera we should use video capture that dispose local video track remove sync from local surface view local surface view that's clear image and remove our track from local stream local video track and then local video track dot dispose right now we are done with the local stuff it's time for remote so let's go back up here and create a function called uh, in its remote surface and it will get a view of the surface view renderer first thing to do is get a reference of it inside my class surf equals to view and then in its surface view of this view okay so right now we are good to go uh, we are done with setting our local sources and initializing our surface view renderers in the next video uh, we will start to negotiate with other user and create a call and start connecting two peers together and establish a connection and send these streams together so that's it for this video till the next video see you everyone